Hello again, this is Sven the Wolf, and as you can see, I've got my G39 here set up as a DMR. We have the sniper scope, the bipod for added support, and the rather huge um, suppressor, actually just for show. Um, I'm doing this video, as you can see in the title, because I have some new goodies for this gun. It does look good like this with the uh, Magpul reel covers on there and stuff like that, but it could look a bit better. As a DMR, I found that the rear stock, the skeletonized original stock, it's not bad, but it could be better, as I find it to be a bit on the short side. Now, I went online and I came up to this. It looks a bit like a Magpul stock, but it isn't. It's an IDZ stock. IDZ, which is basically um, German and um, short for Infanterist der Zukunft, which means basically it's just a soldier of the future. And um, it is used by the real German army, the Bundeswehr. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. And I have to say I'm fairly pleased with it, as this stock is not only fully adjustable, it also comes with another top rail. You might think, why do we need another top rail? Well, the original one is not bad, it's very sturdy and stuff, but if you want to mount a scope, or anything that is quite large, like a, a night ops or something for night vision, stuff like that, you need to remove the front side and the rear side. Front side, not so bad. Rear side looks a bit awkward, in my opinion. So that's why I'm glad it came with um, another rail, as this rail has flip down sides, which you can just easily flip down. Now you have a flat rail on which you can mount the scope without any tools whatsoever. Right, so I'm gonna put this camera on a stake right now so we can show you how to mount this and how to operate both of these. Um, for mounting this stock and the front top rail, it's really easy, you don't need a lot of tools. Um, something to knock a pin out with, it can be anything up to a 4mm in diameter. You have the pin. On the Tokyo Maruis, there's a screw here. When you open up, when you fold it to the side, there's a little screw here, 1.5 millimeter uh, hex screw. So just get an Allen wrench and take it out. Then you can just slide the pin out. WE, they did slightly different. They used a slotted pin, which locks itself into place, kind of. It's just tension, of course. So. Just get the pin and knock it from bottom to top. Let's go. I'm gonna have to take it off anyhow to replace the top rail. So this pin is out, just simply press the button and the stock just comes free. Now, a little comparement between the two stocks. As you can see, top one, the new IDZ stock, is a bit shorter. If I line up the holes, it's a bit shorter and it does come a bit higher but that's no point because the original stock is also way too low we can, if you press the button here adjust this upwards in three steps, somewhere in the middle the low step and the highest step I must say the highest step is perfect for sniper scopes and then to extend it it's like the M4 crane stocks fully extended and as you can see now it is significantly longer than the original and this is interesting as a sniper because the length of pull on the original one is a bit too short for a good cheek weld and a good shoulder weld and stuff like that other features well the back um, play. It's not rubberized, it looks a bit like a perforated, like a ventilated butt pad, but it isn't. Um, and it is 
always forget if it's concave or the other but it is round outwards well the original one is rounded inwards if I uh, you get my drift now I have to say also there's a little tabs on here so that does give a little bit more grip but it is plastic instead of the rubber um, on that part I do like the original one better as it really hugs your shoulder a bit it's not gonna slip off this one um, it hasn't slipped off on me yet but it feels like it could any second so that's not a real big plus for this stock however um, where you have the original holes for the pin on the original stock and the sling mount hole you do have three holes here for the pins but I have yet to find anywhere to attach a sling so that's kind of a, a down point for this I guess you could if it's extended the right way get a sling around here or around here somewhere not that I would really trust that but whatever um, it's I thought it was six or five or six steps that you can adjust the length um, not really sure but it doesn't really matter it goes from short to long which is good more than good enough um, as you might notice the original one has four holes and this one only has three holes but that doesn't matter because you only have three pins in the back of the trigger guard in between the uh, trigger guard trigger group in between the trigger group and the magazine well and up front in the front guard so three pins works out nicely they also hold the pins very well as I'm gonna try to show you now I'm gonna take out the magazine first pin just simply put it in and it's not gonna go anywhere it does wobble from left to right a lot but it's not gonna fall out of you even if you smack it it doesn't gonna fall out you're not gonna lose it which is great pin pin out. yes we do now installation of this stock is just the opposite of the removal of the other one so basically slide it in make sure it clicks into position and put the tab or the pin the big pin back in just knock it flat and there you have it which is really nice you can see it's it's fairly short right here so this is perfect for CQB combinations on the C type of or, or, or something as this is a rather long gun I've used it indoor it's great I've used it with the original stock it, it works it's just a bit hard to get around corners and stuff if you now extend it this gun becomes really really long which is awesome because right now you can have a very comfortable very long length of pull and it's very comfortable to shoulder also if you put the um, cheek piece up high it's really really aggressive and it actually matches the rest of the gun better than the original stock in my opinion now to get this rail off it's a bit it's a plus and it's a a minus to get the other rail on first of all this rail is really rigid because you have the tab here and the angle here and the angle here it's really rigid it's not gonna bend here down point is that you might have a hard time getting to the cocking handle, charging handle, um, with gloves on or when you're not so thin. It's there's just enough room to get your fingers in there and grab it. So that's the down point, and of course the sides. Um, you can remove them, but it's not that nice so how to get this off it's just easy you have three screws get a Phillips head screwdriver and just undo them and do this on a, s a flat surface not in grass or something because on the back the plates will fall off and there they are one two three plates keep them aside push out the screws which come out with another three plates keep these plates on the screws as they do not have threads like the plates that came off the back um, it's really stupid if you mix those up 
Right, so now the rail just slide to the back and it comes off. And as you can see, it is really rigid. It's not going to bend on you ever. So that's a major plus to this rail as to the cheap rail that you got with the stock. Well, it has flip down sides, but see that bend? It bends like hell. Now, I might want to get a titanium plate in here instead of this cheap old metal plate. I'll think of that, but it's something really strong, so it adds to the rigidity. But um, the way it comes in, I wouldn't like hold it like that if it has like a C-Mag and a grenade launcher and stuff like that um, on there so if it's if your gun is heavy I wouldn't carry it by this rail to get it on just simply slide from back to front if it would like to it would be really nice it can be a bit of a problem if the stock is not folded nice feature I'll show you that Guys, I'll show you that later. When you get the rail on, just line up the holes and put the screws in. Right, so while I was talking, we got it mounted. It is a lot stiffer right now, but I can still bend it easily. Now, we have quite a nice sight, although the rear aperture is really, really small. And um, it's kind of annoying to look through it so when I'm using the iron sights I just rather drop this down and look straight through the front because the front one is really nice it's like it's like the mp5 a bit but the center post you have the ring with the center post the center post is actually basically pointed so it has a point on top which is really nice it's really fine and uh, allows you to actually see what you're aiming at too, which is a really nice feature. And to mount the other scope back on there, just flip down the sights and you can install the scope without any hassle, which is a delight. So right now, extend the stock a little bit, not fully though, but you could extend this, the stock completely, flip it up completely it will not come in contact with the rear side if it's flipped down and this is basically a very good platform for those long range DMR shots and gives you a very very sturdy feeling um, something else that I wanted to show you guys is that when your buttstock is fully um, extended it doesn't work but when it's not fully extended you can bipod in again. You can flip it to the side, smack it, and it will lock into position. It will not drop out on you guys, which is really nice. You can also extend the stock a bit, but only a bit, not fully. So, so that's really nice. Let's see up with the magnet. It's a really nice gun, especially with the stock on there. Um, the only thing I'm not that big of a fan of is that it is not Marui compatible. It does not fit the Tokyo Marui G36 models. So I'm guessing it will not fit the Ares G36 models or any other AG G36. Um, it is made in-house by WE, so it's kind of made for their gun. Nonetheless, if you have a WEG39, the gas blowback, just get this. It's only $65 on Red Wolf Airsoft. And I have to say, you get not only a very good stock, which is looks a lot like Magpul, but you also get the top rail with the foldable sides. Now, you could just leave the back side folded and get like a combat side on there. A screw on rear side, use that in combination with the front side and that's it's going to really look nice if you want to go mag pull all the way. And I'm gonna end the review here because it's, yeah, it's getting late again. I always do these long reviews. I hope I'm not boring you but well yeah I just like to talk about airsoft that's the thing. 
If you have any questions, any messages for me, any videos you want me to see, um, feel free to, pee, to, to send me a message or to comment below. Um, if you really want to see other videos and you want to know when they come up, subscribe to me. A lot of people have been before you, so why wouldn't you subscribe? So, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna shoot this baby for a while now. She got me all turned up right now. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna love my gun a bit more, and I hope you guys love your guns a bit more. Great, so see ya, and see ya next time.